Hello YouTube, this is Budget Bug Out coming to you with another little uh, clever or creative, I'm not sure what you would call it, uh, survival kit. Um, this one is integrated into um, boots that I keep in my back seat. Um, the boots are just for, you know, just in case I'm wearing flip flops, which I like to do because I'm a Florida boy, so I like wearing flip flops when I'm out. But if something ever happened where I needed to put on some shoes, you know, I got these and I keep um, socks uh, with them as well. Uh, I keep socks usually inside uh, one, of, one of the boots. But, um, so this is just a kind of a, a brief overview uh, about what I'll be, uh, what, what I have in my, uh, my car. Um, on here I just have the Bare Essentials. <clears throat> the Bare Essentials of Survival uh, for me are just items that are very difficult to replicate in a survival situation but are extremely useful at the same time. Uh, and those items to me are paracord, which is what the uh, the boots, uh, the boot uh, laces are, a knife, this is the K-Bar LDK, which means la which stands for last ditch knife, and then over here I have a little Bic lighter, it's fire being the uh, the survival item. Of course, anything you can put anything you want in that pocket, um, along with that lighter. Um, you know, got heavy duty aluminum foil if you wanted to put like a square of that in there. Oh, I got a sneeze. Excuse, excuse me. But um, but yeah, that's just a, just a brief overview of, uh, of one of the things I keep in my car uh, when I'm out and about and. It's a uh, it's something uh, something to consider. It uh, I have used this before, uh, whenever I was kind of in a, in a place where I either wanted shoes that it was okay if I got dirty, or shoes because I just you know was helping someone move their their furniture or something, and I just wanted to make sure that you know uh, my feet were protected. Or sometimes if it's a bad weather and you're in a uh, kind of in the countryside you don't want to be uh, walking around in flip-flops um, you know you want it you want a good pair of shoes but uh, these shoes I got at a military surplus store um, so these weren't these were 20 bucks and then I looked them up online and they're worth over a hundred dollars actually upwards to 200 in new condition um, also one last thing is that it's good to tie off uh, the shoelaces. That way, whenever you open them up, they uh, you don't lose the shoelaces into the uh, into the little uh, the little grommets. But uh, anyways, I just want to share this uh, with y'all. I uh, I made something uh, on Instructables.com about this, and uh, people were asking for a video of it. So figured I'd show y'all. All right, y'all have a y'all have a great week. Stay safe.